So you're probably wondering why does a pair of true wireless buds have a display on them and is it anywhere useful? Well, these are the JBL Tor Pro 2s and we're gonna be finding out how useful that display is, how good the earbuds are and how they stack up to the rest of the competition. And if you're joining us for the first time guys, thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button notification icon. My name is Thunder E here on the channel and we make videos like this for you so you can pick the best earbuds you want to at any point in time. So the JBL Tor Pro 2s are brand new from JBL. They are the top in line uh, wireless buds. They are priced at $249 and they have a very unique case point to prove. It's got a larger case, which you can see an LCD display right in front of it. Now, how does this stack up against the rest of the competition? And in this video, we'll be pairing it up against the AirPods Pro 2, the Nothing Buds 2, the Sony Link Buds S and the Galaxy uh, Buds Pro 2. So what does JBL have to offer? Well, quite a bit here. So in terms of specs, that's kind of knocks a few things out of the way. JBL uh, says that, look, if you have active noise cancellation on in these earbuds, you're gonna get about eight hours with the earbuds and 24 hours plus 24 hours with the case. While with ANC off, you're getting 10 hours with the earbuds and 30 with the case, giving you up to 40 hours of battery life. Now that's impressive, especially since you have a display on this case. And this display actually adds a lot of functionality to it, right? We've got the fact that you can have, of course, customized home, uh, wallpapers on there. As you can see, I have Superman, but I can cycle through different ones. And as we cycle through, you have a bunch of options here. You can pause and play your music. You can see the track. It does give you, of course, an indication of the battery levels of your buds and if you're connected. You can easily swipe through to increase the volume. You can also toggle between your active noise cancellation as well as ambient sound. You can change the equalizers and EQs. You've got, of course, a timer set here. Spatial audio, you can also toggle that on and off and select. You can select the brightness on the screen. You can also change that wallpaper, as I mentioned. Your voice aware, letting you know how much of your voice you hear during active noise cancellation. You've got autoplay and pause. You've got notification uh, settings where it actually showcases your notifications on here on the case, which is a pretty cool feature. Find your buds left and right. Uh, you have a flashlight uh, and that's pretty much what you get. Now, one thing you notice with this is that it also pairs directly with the app. So everything you see here is found in the app. There are a few more app centric features, but it is found there. Now, Let's go to what about how it actually stacks up to the competition. When it comes to the display, none of the other uh, devices have a display. And that's something you notice off the bat. And if you're one where your case is always in front of you around, this is quite useful where it allows you to do a lot of things from, uh, of course, managing your music, how you listen to it, and also just seeing notifications. For some other people, it might be a gimmick, but I do like the feature. It doesn't hurt either way. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation, which is one of the big things, of course, these earbuds do have, how do they stack up against the rest? So at number five, I would give the Nothing Buds. They come in at fifth place there. Good active noise cancellation, but nothing spec tackler in that regard. Then coming in at number four are the JBL Tor Pro 2s. They are a huge improvement from what I've experienced in JBL in the past, but they don't block out a large level of noise like the other three on top of it, but they do a really good job with its, um, uh, with its pass through and also just with what it does at ANC in general. And then coming in at number three, Three. This is actually a tie between the AirPods Pro 2 and the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. I think the updates kind of just kept them neck and neck. And the Sony Link Buds S wins the case for active noise cancellation. It's just been solid and it works out very, very well. Now, what about transparency mode? Now, this is where Apple clearly wins. I'm just gonna put out the Apple's won this category. So who comes in second in this case? I actually what, like what JBL has done here. It's really, really good. It's actually close to Apple in most regards. Uh, and then I would give the third place to the Galaxy Buds and then followed by uh, the Link Buds and then finally uh, the um, Nothing Buds too. So we have our active noise cancellation and our transparency modes taken care of. 
what about of uh, audio quality? What about the sound? How well do they sound? And where does the JBL stack up in this case? So in terms of audio quality, this is quite an interesting one because I think the JBL uh, 12 Pro 2s are tuned slightly differently and this is tuned more to bass lovers. So for me, this comes in at number five, but when you're looking for something that handles bass well, not just an overwhelming sense of bass, this does a fantastic job with bass here. But in terms of giving you clear mids and highs, not as much. Now coming in at my number four spot are the Apple AirPods uh, Pro 2, which do a really good job and it's some nice separation there. Uh, with then number three spot goes to uh, the Galaxy Buds uh, Pro 2, which are very good, but I think the Nothing Buds really comes in at a really nice, solid number two spot. And still number one in terms of just clear audio and listening experience, that is the Sony Link Buds S. So we've talked about audio. How do you enhance that audio? And do, uh, what about the built-in EQs? Now, of course, with the AirPods Pro 2, you don't have that feature built in. Uh, and that's why it takes last in this case. It, it doesn't hurt in any form or function. It's just the way it is. While the um, Nothing Buds do have built-in EQs you can customize, so they kind of come in in second. Same thing with the Galaxy Buds as well. I think at the top two, you're looking at the JBL Buds Pro 2 and the Sony Link Buds S. Those two have some really good EQ features, but just looking at what JBL does here, focusing on specific things, those EQs really change the way the sound profile comes out, and I think it's very, very nice. Then finally, in terms of the audio department, let's look at spatial audio. This is something I really don't like in any pair of headphones, and you have that ability built into all of them except the Nothing Buds. And looking at all three, I will give the cake here to uh, the AirPods Pro 2. They take the slight edge uh, uh, in terms of uh, spatial audio, especially when you're watching movies, followed by the Lynx Buds Edge with 360 audio, as well as also the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. And then finally, uh, JBL, I just didn't like the implementation here. It just wasn't as catchy as I would like in terms of just pure functionality and what it needs to do. Then finally, let's talk about the microphones. All have very good microphones for voice calls, and I think here it's actually getting closer across the board. I'll say the least great microphone here is the Sony Link Buds S. It's really solid, doesn't do, uh, does, does a really good job, but doesn't do as much as the others. Followed by, of course, uh, the Nothing Buds, uh, which do a really good job. They're very clean and clear, and uh, they come out pretty crisp. Then the Galaxy uh, Buds 2 Pro and the JBLs are tied together. I'll give the slight edge to the AirPods Pro 2, but not by much. I think, again, all of them do a really good job with, of course, microphone quality. So when I look at everything on the table and what this has to offer, how does the JBL stack up, especially with its price point? Well, at first I have to say the battery life at up to 40 hours is great and shows that even with a display on the case, you're not gonna be losing battery life on there. The, uh, the earbuds feel very comfortable in my ears and of course they work pretty well. You also do have on, um, uh, onboard controls on the earbuds so you can control, of course, your music that way, but I found myself using the case quite a bit. Some will say the case is gimmicky, but I disagree. Now, I put this as more of a lifestyle, bass-heavy listening pair of headphones. Uh, they do a really good job for that specific category very, very well, uh, and also in other categories, you still do get a decent job. But in terms of just overall ranking, I will put this at number five out of all the others here. I still think it does a really good job, and if you're looking for something that has that display and also gives you some extra functionality that you don't want to always pick up your phone, you can have your case. This is something that does a really good job there. What I want to see from them in the future from JBL is I want to be able to see the songs that I'm listening to on my case. I also want to be able to do uh, see some of my notifications and go back to some of the notifications that I've seen, especially just kind of scrolling through to see if there's anything important for me to look at. Those kind of functionalities would be great. And I also want to see their tuning cater to more genres and just a wider scope uh, of listening preferences uh, so that actually more people can enjoy this. But I do like them and I think 
uh, even at 249, they are still a worthy pickup. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. Bye.